Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheim and our beloved Emperor's Ascension to ultimate victory. It is good to be back in ancient China. Emphasis on ancients. We are here with Total War Three Kingdoms continuing our campaign that was on a bit of a hiatus. Now, uploads might be a little slower than they were in the past because we are still, of course, working... Wow, our vassal's coming in to help. That's nice. Still working on Mistover. That is taking we the priority of the channel, them. but we aren't abandoning these campaigns. At least, not all of them. We might be abandoning the Yellow Turban, but, uh, there. Another story for another day. We have captured Yo Huijin, who is willing to work for us because her master is about to be destroyed. I'm kind of okay with that. Coordinated, cautious, spiteful. Hmm. I mean, scare is useful. Populist, artful, creative, and scarred. You know what? Sure. We could always we use another fighters. sentinel. Now, apparently, there's a new patch. Patch 1.3.0. I think. And that patch introduced a few changes to a few things. Wait, I can't get the silk trader here? I feel deceived. I'm just converted. Why not? So yeah, new things. I think the biggest thing to mention is the change to Spiceport. The change to Commanders. And a few uh, people in the basic campaign got you know upgraded to legendary status. Such as Pang Tong, which one of my favorite characters of all time. So that's good. What were we doing with Shizi? I don't remember. Wait, was he coming to collapse on Luoyang? The mightiest tree hmm. survives on its roots. I don't remember. Now, if you were here from Mistover from and you just clicked on this because you like me, well, first of all, aw, thank you. Second of all, allow me to get you caught up. This. this is from the DLC for three Total War Three Kingdoms based on the Jin Dynasty, which came immediately after the Han. We are playing as Sima Ying over here. And our goal... We are currently Emperor and a Victorious Prince, so basically the short-term campaign victory has been c achieved. We've basically beat the game, but because we're the best that ever was, we are going for ultimate victory. This means we need to defeat or subjugate our seven brothers. Now, of course, we have more brothers than that, but these are the seven other seven playable characters. And right now, we are chasing down Sima Young, all of this territory up here used to belong to him. All the territory north of the Yellow River. And now it belongs to me. So, you know. He'll be dead soon. Our Emperor's a little wounded at the moment, but don't mind that. Don't mind that. You'll be fine. We are... Hmm. Do I just go punch this real quick? Was that what you were doing? I think it was. We have a lot of armies, so excuse me while I get reacquainted with all of them. I guess you're going this way, huh? Oh, yeah, because we were considering turning on Sima Chong, who has been very rude to us. He was our ally at one point in time, but now he's not. Actually, I might need to stick around to kill you. But that's okay. That's okay. I did go through and upgrade all the buildings that I wanted to slash could, so we don't need to do that. You are Liang Gui, that's fine. Sima Pi, my son. Focus your rage! Moving Kill him. Kill him now. Now, because he is outside the city, he's pulling the garrison outside of the city with him, which makes it far easier to kill them. And then the once wounded, we'll take the city. Be because we are mostly rocking with emperor units. Hey, Ducha. Deceitful, bright, and vengeful. Well, I should probably kill you then. It is the people's will. Those are not good traits to let people go. Trades do mean a little bit. They mostly determine stats and how the AI behaves when you recruit them. But, Our victory no. is proof of heaven's approval. A little bit of roleplay didn't hurt anybody, we okay? Bring righteousness to this settlement. So the Emperor units that I mentioned, the Protectors of Heaven, are Heavy Glaive Infantry, and they are really good. If you want a frontline that will kill everything and not break, this is it. And we have the Defenders of Earth, these guys have exploding arrows. I feel like I don't need to say anymore. Exploding arrows. 
Yeah. So that's what we're using then. Actually, let's take a look real quick at Sima Jun. Sima Jun is one of the commanders that received changes, supposedly. Maybe it's just new commanders? Or... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'd, I'd have to make a new campaign. Which I'm probably not going to do. <laughs> Simapu is our faction heir. We spawned him over here in the Yizhu Islands that we nabbed by taking the long way. And he is here to fight against Simachi, who went to war with our vassal, one of our brothers, who, don't worry, I have plans for. Oh, 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 oh. So that is one of the reasons you never, ever charge headlong into the fog of war, because you have no idea what might be there. So we're going to have Simapu ambush. And we have Li Huangfu, who we've brought down to help support our heir. This guy's going to run. And then we're going to kill him. Easy peasy. Lemon. Squeezy. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm not doing any actual battling myself, it's because I don't have to. <laughs> if the balance of power says it's a d decisive victory, I'm just going to let the AI do it, you know? We'll probably see a fight. Maybe? Potentially. I guess we'll go this way. Sima Chi is either coming back this way or going to head towards our brother Sima Ai, who is currently our friend. Now, last episode, Lu Ji passed away, the brother of Lu Ji, one of our oldest allies. So we need a new Grand Excellency. But as you can see, this could take a while for me to decide. Lots of stats. Redu Global Corruption Reduction. It's hard to say. I kind of like that. Additional starting rank for all recruits, more assignments. I think I have an assignment to do right now. We have a, a vanguard named Samai. That's pretty funny. Samai, of course, a renowned character from the Three Kingdoms, a strategist that aided Sao Sao. Um, I don't think I want this. I would like to get someone who reduces corruption because we're having. A bit of a problem with that. Sun Chun, Sima Chun, you are terrible. I think it's going to be Zikan. It would be nice if I could find someone that did something like... I don't know. Uh, melee charge? That's a thing, right? Income from industry. Hello. That's a lot, too. 15%. I like it. Starting rank for polearm infantry and shock cav. That could be fun. Uh, you know, we're going to give it to Zikan. Because I think he was the leader of Song. Wait, was it you? Or was it Ray? How you want. I will give it to you. Because this is satisfaction for everyone, noble support for everyone, for faction support for everyone. And corruption. Faction support is how quickly people come to your side when you capture their stuff. So over here, we just captured the Luoyang Lumberyard. So our faction support is currently 35 out of 100. So you see we lose noble support, which is like public order. We lose some military supplies in the area. And the income from the area is reduced. Sima Zun took over for our brother Sima. I forgot his name. But I like trade, so I'll take this. Anyway, he's one of the factions we have to either destroy or subjugate. And I'm not, I'm honestly not sure how I'm going to do that. Both Sima Jun and Sima Ai are our allies. And um, Sima Yong is attacking here because we've taken all of his territory. So he's kind of just throwing the last of his armies against our garrisons. He doesn't have a choice. we capture him? No. That would have been weird. I mean, sure. I am not without mercy. The Jin Empire is a faction that had the Emperor. Former Emperor... Uh, I don't remember his name now. <laughs> but uh, we were given... Oh, this is a close victory, so I'm going to fight this. We actually got control of the Emperor because the Empress, who was controlling him, thought that we were worthy. And, you know, we had the token Emperor for a little bit. 
And then he made a decision that was not in our favor. So we got a special dilemma to, you know, dethrone him. <laughs> and we did. I didn't kill him. That was an option. You can kill the former emperor and become emperor yourself. I just retired him. What exactly that means, I have no idea. Just that I'm the emperor now. And I have been for a few episodes, I think. Okay. Enough of that. Let's get on to the fight. I hate fighting in forests, so we're going to deploy over here. They are attacking us, which means we can kind of sit back and, you know, relax. I'm just going to make one giant front line. I didn't notice that we were a little wounded, but I don't particularly care. I have to try to remember my key bindings. <laughs> think we're good. Think we're good. Trebuchet. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot my wife. This is my wife. This is Sima Jin Jin. Well, she doesn't have a uh, flaming shot with catapults. It's kind of annoying. On the bright side, though, I won't set these trees on fire <laughs> while I'm standing in them. So, you know, there's a plus and a minus. And as I always do, because the enemy is going to come to us slowly, I will see you guys when they get here. The cav are coming at us from over here. We have been shooting at them for a little bit with our catapults. You can see some of their range are breaking slightly, sort of. They are in a loose formation that reduces their range damage taken, so. Yeah, well. We will keep it fast forward here. Just, uh, no. The cavalry are coming. We do have our own cav positioned here to counter-engage if we feel that is necessary. Which we might. Actually, let's go. In loose formation, they take reduced range damage, but they also take increased charge damage. So we're forcing them to choose right now. Do they want to uh, take increased range damage or do they want to take increased charge damage Let from my cavalry? The run. An excellent choice. The AI is a lot like fighting people. If you can make them make more decisions, they'll eventually screw up. Of course, the difference is the AI will screw up because you can take advantage of whichever one they didn't choose. The person will screw up because the person is doing too many things. Oh. Uh, Simapu. We're going to say no here because they are low on health. If they were full health, I would say yes. In a heartbeat. Turn around. Kill them. The enemies are crossing the river. This makes them very slow, so it's good for us. You guys can come back a little bit. Where are you guys firing? Maybe here? Things are going well. Look at the squabble between Cav. Okay, we're going to pull back now because the general isn't here. We are playing on romance mode, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. There's a romance and a records mode. And records mode is basically more historically accurate and more similar to historical Total War titles. So like the Napoleon and Empire one, is that? I don't know what they're called, but basically it's more historical and factually correct, I guess. But um, the biggest difference, I suppose, is that generals have retinues. So they're just like a regular cavalry unit instead of in romance where generals are just a single, strong, powerful unit. So it's more fantastical. Because, of course, the Three Kingdoms is kind of a fantasy story. I mean, there's the records of the Three Kingdoms, which was written, like, right after the Three Kingdom era. And there was the annotations of the Three Kingdoms, which I guess is something in between fantasy and reality. And then there's the romance of the Three Kingdoms, which is what most people know. And that's what, you know, Dynasty Warriors and all the games are based off of. And that is mostly fantasy. You know, like Lu Bu soloing a thousand people is pretty unrealistic. <laughs> Lu Bu may have been a good warrior in real life, but he wasn't that good. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the point is the generals are, sing are powerful singular entities in Romance and Rogue. And there are duels. And you get benefits for winning duels and, you know, weaknesses for losing duels. And I didn't use my other cavalry group, did I? Nope. All right. Good on me. 
Normally I would kill everything, but I wasn't that afraid of anything that was in this army. Except for the generals. I always kill the generals. Always. Because if you kill them, you have a better chance of capturing them. Now don't ask me how that works, because they're dead. But that's okay. See, the AI would have made a close victory. We made a decisive victory. Because we're better. You know? And our front line is basically unbreakable. <laughs> I would be very impressed if anyone got through our front line. Heaven rewarded our passion. Part of the reason is because we're the only emperor. <laughs> so in a normal campaign that's not part of the DLC, you're fighting other kingdoms, other emperors. So there'll be at least two other factions that have access to the emperor units. That makes it much, much difficult, I assure you. In the Yellow Turban series, one of the reasons I'm consider, well, I've decided to basically stop it is because, well, first of all, there's there was a bug when the game launched. The bug has since been fixed, but when the game launched, one of the warlords, Yuan Shao, had a tendency to vassalize everybody. Literally every faction he could talk to, he would vassalize, which basically meant, well, of course, Yuan liberates him. Basically meant they served that warlord. Sima Zhao invited Sima Zhang to their alliance. A noble birth. Diao Bing. Hmm. Ah, my daughter's married to them. That's why. And we have a steed. Sima Jingjing is bright. A great trait for a strategist. Where's our steed? It's right here. The red stallion. Ooh, that's a good one. No, but anyway. So in that campaign, Yuan Shao vassalized everybody. So he basically had the entire map against us at all times. Is very annoying. This is only a Pyrrhic victory, but I'm still going to take it because I hate city battles. The people's voice cannot and be um, the point of that story was that in the Yellow Turban playthrough for like the in past, time, they will thank the us. most recent three or four episodes, we've just been fighting nonstop because we don't have Emperor units and our enemies do. And there's so many of them because they're all one faction, basically. Composure, please. Simi Yushu now has all of the basic stuff. Flaming Shot. Good. Do I have a weapon for you? The Sovereign of Blades. Where did I get this? I want to see this. Spirit of the First Artist. Man, range block chance isn't that great. There you go, my daughter. Have that. Oh yeah, our family tree. I should probably take a look at that. It's in quartz. Just so you guys are all caught up. Here we go. It's big. So Sima Yan was the son of Samai. I think he helped form the Jin Empire. That might not be correct. But uh, here's our brother Sima Wei, who we beat. He was the first person that we beat. Sima Ai, our ally. And then us. We married Zhang Li Zhu. You can see this is all of our children. Many children. Some of them who are married to other people. Yeah. It's lovely. They also made it so that you can marry your generals that aren't in your family. So if you really liked the family aspect of this, you could go a little crazy. I want this jade mine. Jade mines are incredibly profitable, just like in real life. Where, you know, Jade, what was it? It was like the Medal of the Gods or something? The Medal of Heaven? Basically, the Chinese held it in the highest regard, so... It makes sense that it would be profitable. Be We've captured Zhu Ninghui. Um, nah, you can go. You, you can go. Be unjust to punish them further. Spy aborted. Is that because Sima Yong has been destroyed? Yes! I definitely wanted to do that this episode. So Sima Yong is no more leaving. Sima Zhong, Sima Jun, and Sima Ai. Now, Sima Zhong is our vassal. And we can do something really cruel to him. By cruel, I mean, how cruel is it really? <laughs> it's a little treacherous, but that's about it. You might become our vassal. I kind of feel like I just want to kill you, though. So, how do I see this? Yes, faction grouping. In the Alliance of the Darkening Moon, so we're a, faction, a military alliance. We have Sima Jun and Sima Ai, both of whom I have to either kill or subjugate. And all of their vassals. And then Sima Zhong and Liu Yingping. Now Liu Yingping is under one little area. So I'm not sure why we invited her to join our faction. But it's kind of annoying that we did. But I don't think I can... This could be funny. Hold on. 
Can I kick you out? Before everyone hates me, can I kick you out? So she herself will accept this, but these two won't. <sighs> My brothers. No one liked that. I'm going to bet that it's the same for Sima Jun, too. Yep. So, basically what this set, what this means is that we're all in an alliance together. A military alliance. And I can't do anything about that without turning on them. Major Bank of Victorious Prince, then annex or destroy all of the major factions. And the way you annex them, it's actually very simple. And I'm going to show you, I think. Yeah. You know what? Why not? Here's how you annex people. You go to your vassal, Sima Zhong. Hello. It's a nice day today, isn't it? Now, when you are declaring someone your vassal, you can offer them a guarantee of autonomy, which means they can basically do whatever they want. They're just your vassal and have to pay you. We didn't do that. So... Yep. This is a bit untrustworthy. Annexing a vassal is an act of treachery condemned by everyone. It also puts a heavy burden on your administration, so you will not be able to repeat it for a while. My administration is fine. Hello? game. Thank you. Alright. Faction Confederation. I don't know why I said that. So weird. Faction Confederated. Sima Ying and Sima Zhong. These two factions have become one. Deployed generals and family members have remained in this new faction, while others have left to seek their fortune elsewhere. Does this mean... Did we get him? Probably should have checked this first. We did not... No. I was hoping we'd get our brother, Sima Zhang, instead of access to two legendary characters, but... Oh well. Destroy corruption. No. That's fine. So here's Sima Rui, the leader of the faction that we just took. Well, we, Lu Ji took his capital, the final remaining building for him, and now Cutting we're going to kill him. Triumphs Lu Ji, of course, my imperial advisor, my oldest friend, my greatest... Comrades, captured Sima Gui. He actually has good traits. Man, I wish I could recruit you. That's a nice item. Off with your heads. I do like this. I mean, he's only 30. Maybe he'll come and join me. Because when you destroy a faction, the people that were employed by that faction will go look you know, for work elsewhere. It makes sense, right? So maybe, once we Careful defeat him one last time, he'll be willing to join us. That would be nice. Be even nicer if I caught him again. Hey, look, we did. Neither are willing to join me, though. Really? You even have good traits, too. Release them. My mercy is waning. No but they are both young, they both had good traits. Maybe they'll join me. Faction destroyed Sima Rui. We've gotten a lot of work done today. So as you can see, Sima Zhong has been destroyed. And all that's left for ultimate victory is our two brothers. I think I'm going to have to perform an act of ultimate treachery. Ah, lovely. Justice cannot be denied. Wait, why? I'm just going to leave the alliance. <laughs> like, wait a minute. We I don't need to be an actual douche. Just a little bit of one, you know? So let's leave our alliance. They probably won't attack me right away. Goodbye. A lot of people dislike that. Sima Ying left the alliance of Sima Jun. Yeah, we're out. Peace. Peace, bro. Now comes one of the harder parts. When you annex a lot of land, you sometimes have to change a lot of buildings. Sometimes. 
our territory expanded very quickly. <laughs> That's fine, though. Man, this map is lovely. Lovely map. Wonderful map. Zhongli Zhu. This is my wife. She is one away from... Composure, which is always nice. Can we see in our list of generals... Anyone interesting? I don't think so. Alright. Can I... How do I hire again? <laughs> um, I think it's in court. Yes, here we go. So this is where all of the people looking for jobs are. I think we have to wait one turn. I'm opinioning rank 7. I think we have to wait one more turn before anyone that was looking for a job will show up. Oh, can I actually reach you? Yes. Now, being in Force March means that you can move farther, but you will no longer replenish, and if enemies catch you, your army will be tired. So if you can ever catch anyone in Force March, probably try to do that. Try to fight them, because you'll have an advantage. Wang Tingzhuan. Handsome. You're so handsome, Wang Tingzhuan. Loyal. Vengeful. Trustworthy. Hmm. Odd traits. Very odd traits. Or a strategist, anyway. I might release her. They have suffered enough. When you... When you're looking for a good strategist, you want to try and get one with a lot of cunning, because that increases the ammunition of their retinue. And for the most part, their retinue is going to be all ranged units. Oh, I thought you'd get cataphracts for a second. I was about to be very excited. This is the expanded retinue that commanders can get. Hmm. Well, I mean, the fact that you can get red units and all is pretty good, I think. But I'm going to stick with... These? I'm not even sure how you got these. But I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Wait, can you just... Ah, that's how. I was replacing the unit so I couldn't see it. That makes sense. Confusion results. Be ready. China needs us. Beloved governor. And emperor. Alright, where are you going? <laughs> that's a good question. I have to kill Lu, Lu Yingping soon. Who are you? I cannot. Really? Sima Zhao. Wow. You're a long way from home, bud. A long way indeed. So Sima Ying. Where are we? We just move south, right? Like we start, we get ready to pounce on our brother. Sima Ai is going to be the challenging one. Sima Jun only has two territories. And that's partly because of the way that that character plays. But, um, yeah, I think we just move south now. Move south and grab everything. We'll need to send someone up here to deal with Liu Yingping, though. Probably you? Who is this? Liang Gui? Tong Yi. Yeah. I want this. You aren't in an alliance with anyone, are you? Your ally is Sima Zhao, who we're already at war with, so goodbye. I think I'm trading with you, though. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Oh well. You don't need loyalty if you're just going to be the only faction left. You know? Pujin, Pujun, the administrator, he's vengeful. Well, there's nothing to steal, so I won't kill you. Um, I'm going to release you. I kind of like your stats, but... Release them! Meh. We have no use for them. The matter was completed favorably. Completed favorably? So... The Jade Empire. Yep. I was going to say, I think I have all of them now. I think I do. Do I? Playing as any faction, control all Jade resources on the map. Yep. Easy peasy. Lemon Squeezy and Chuan Chi has gained a rank. What are you doing with you? Reach, you aren't leading. You shall not be commanding. Fatigue resistance? Yeah. And that'll give us... Put us down to hamstring. More buttons to press is always good fun. For China! Simapu. 
Where am I even going? I guess I'm going this way. Attend, marching. We will have to be a little bit weary of Sima Ai now. I might just disband all these armies because they're all pretty bad. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. The chaos of Actually, I might just throw them into things for now. I cannot agree to this course. Of course you can. That seems like a good idea, right? China just throwing them into things? Not Ooh, who are you? Wang Bao. Nice hat, bro. All the nature shields. Huh. Wish he had a better weapon. Still cool. Um, you don't need a cunning horse. You can have a resolve horse. You almost have 200 resolve. Okay. That's insane. Alright, I'll keep this army. Because it's led by Sima. Remain supple. Liu Zhu. Hmm. Remain honest. Han Hui. I'm disbanding this army. Is welcome, my lord. Thank you. I, answer your I appreciate request, that. My lord. Serve integrity. What about this army? This army was okay, right? Meditate on peace. Mm. Prepare for war. I mean, it has a lot of Chu spearmen. Chi guardsmen. I answer to your request, my lord. Yeah, we'll get rid of this, this one. My Just lord, this one. The other two can stay. And I'm actually going to... Get rid of you. And put in a strategist. We have one, right? It's not recalled. I think so. I think we own you. <laughs> we own you. When you are looking to recruit someone, you can see the people that are waiting in your court. Yeah, so these guys. If they cost zero... We have Sima Zhong. Okay, hold on. He's going to need his own army. We can recruit a few people, actually. Can't do it this turn. Or did I just not click on her right? Gui Shufong. Yeah, sure. Contemplate all. And I'm going to need... Where am I going to need people? Over here, probably. Chen Ye. Let's raise Sima Zhong. Assuming I can. Yes. The mightiest tree survives on it. Now these are I think these two brothers actually got along very well, Sima Ying and Sima Zhong. That might be wrong. But um Sima Zhong, Imperious Regent. This is one of the other playable characters. We have his unique armor. He is a commander. Which is nice because they just got buffed. <laughs> nice. Very nice. I don't know if I'm a fan of this though. Hmm. Opportunism is good, though. That's fine. So we'll build your retinue. Really quick. What do we want here? He is, of course, a cavalry commander. 156, 45, 32. 244, 176, 26. I guess we go with the Cheong Raiders. The Cheong Raiders are our unique yellow cav. I think it's bugged because they're not costing me anything. Or at the very least, it says it's not costing me anything. Now, Chi Guardsman is one of his unique things that we can't actually recruit. It's definitely bugged. But, um, meh. And then we get Frontline. You're going to notice a trend here. <laughs> Now, these characters with the little golden face, they're administrator, which means they're currently sitting inside one of our cities. So, we don't really want to bring them onto the fields. If we can help it. You know, sometimes desperate measures. But, till then. Yeah, sure. My blade is poised. So, the commander, Sima Zhong, is... A cavalry unit, cavalry commander, and 
The Sentinel Zuyan is a infantry commander. And I'm pretty boring. For the Emperor. I also can't click properly today. I'm pretty boring, so I'm just going to get a bunch of these. Fortunately, because I'm replacing and not recruiting, I can't just spam click it. There we go. And we need one strategist that you both don't hate. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently. Yan Hui. Hu Feng Li. I have to recruit you, so no. All right. Yan Hui, congratulations. I'm going to replace all of your stuff. Lately, I've been liking the double trebuchet. And we could go with Defenders of Earth. Yeah, sure, it's been fun. The one downside to using these guys is they're a very small unit. There's only 40 of them. And they have quite the short range. But explosive them. arrows. You can't say no to explosive arrows. I mean, you can. But ill-advised. We are trying to up this guy's cunning as much as possible because, again... That increases ammunition of your own retinue. Unfortunately, we don't have one for this. Relentless, composed, and intrepid. Meh. And if you reach 100 of any stat, you become legendary, which means you can be wounded, but not die. It's very nice, actually. I took away her weapons. But we have this. I gave the Sovereign of Blades to someone else. Oh well. Charge Reflect on Retinue is pretty good. Pretty good. Can I get you back up? No. Hmm. Should be fine. We're kind of really strong, so... I'm not that worried for her. And I'm just going to recruit this real quick. I'm not going to go through everything here with uh, this army. I'm just going to give some trebs. Wrong button. I'm not sure why this is bugged out. But um, I'm playing on the new patch build. Which sometimes breaks old campaigns. So that might be happening here. Might be kind of broken. Um... Just gonna pull this army in. It might destroy it, it might not. We'll find out. But rice patty is good, lots of food. You should actually be wrapping up the episode here, so I'm going to do one more intern. And then we'll see where we're at. We captured Liang Shuli. Suspicious, cordial, artful, lame. Meh. Run back to lame. Faith is rewarded. Oh, we killed Sima Chi. She's been succeeded by Ruan Yi. That rhymes. <laughs> Hudar has gained a rank. You are not commanding. Charge speed on retinue, not horribly important. So grab this. Sima so Jing, composure, please. Do I have another? Nope. Sima Pu. Yeah, sure. Sumapu is leading. Morale and own charge everyone commanding. Meh. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. Just grab that. Tis fine. There is cunning. Luji. Luji has been one of those characters we've really bounced around a lot. We've redeployed him in a number of locations. Wherever he was needed. He has led the charge against all of our foes. So I don't see why he can't do that again. So at the start of next turn, we will redeploy Diao Shushan, Who is at the gate? Fa Yi, and Lu Xi. Redeploy them across the map. As for our emperor, we're going to send him to deal with one final pest. In all things, Lu Yingping. And real quick, 
Um, actually, I'm just going to end the turn. <laughs> I can deal with the buildings later. The Jin Empire would like peace. This is our brother Sima Lun that we destroyed his faction, so he's kind of mad. Actually, did we even? We were at war with him, but I don't think we actually destroyed him. I think someone else did. And he holds it against me. Really? How rude. Oh, here's the new leader of that faction. Coming back for his salt mines. I'm sure he's salty enough. He doesn't need more mines. And here's Sima Zhao, very far away from home. Attacking my trade port. Not a fan. But I wasn't really using it anymore, so... This is one of the things I was concerned about with Sima Zhao, because he is on the Yangtze River, so he can just kind of, you know, ride the river down to my territory. But that's okay. Lu Yingping is steadily fleeing back, because she's aware. Huh. I wonder if I could win this. Now, it's saying this is a decisive defeat because... You know what, we're going to try. They're saying that because, of course, we are... Thoughts. Brain. R on uh, romance mode. So, this general is a terrifyingly powerful hero. And she is at full health. And all of our units are at 17 health. Or 17 units left. Very little health, essentially. So... We're just going to do the basic formation and let them come to us. We're going to try and shoot down what we can. We are holding here. Just holding. Oops. Oh, I may have screwed this up. Okay, we slow down. Losing We're losing ground because I screwed up. Steal See if we can surround here. Because these guys are not horribly strong either. The time has come. So we might be able to do something here. If I can get this right. You guys are going to be on guard. I need them to shoot, shoot those guys down. Because our units do not have shields, unlike theirs. So Shoot them down. Yeah, nah. The hero just kind of, besides me messing up, the hero just kind of walked through everything. So, yep, yeah, that's about as expected. Our men are running. About as I expected. 35 kills on her. And the uh, infantry was shielded, so my arrows didn't do all their potential damage. Hey! It's fine. Even with me screwing up, I don't think I could have won. Yeah, they, she took no damage. I probably would have needed all of my units on her the entire time to have win. Win to have won. All right, we lost a salt mine. The trade port. Mi Win requested their master Sima I go to war against Zhong Zhong Ting Li. I don't know who that is. And Jin Shu joined the war against that person. Lost a livestock farm. A noble birth. Sima Ting Shu between Sima Chun and Zong Yang. The spoils of war. A local magnate. His strength and manpower exhausted by years of war has resorted to raiding the territory of another prince, stealing the manpower he needs. Naturally, the prince has complained and demanded his peasant be returned. You must adjudicate. Now, we actually have max alignment for mind and wealth. So, I'll let my subject keep them. The magnate has claimed them through glorious conquest. They are his to keep. I've never actually pressed that before. So that was enlightening. I usually um, pay them off. Because I don't know if you guys noticed... 2.1 million gold. We're filthy rich. Filthy rich. That's been fun. China, harden your hearts. A Pyrrhic victory. Towards I don't really care. These are some of the armies we acquired from Sima Zhong, so I'm kind of just, you know, throwing them at buildings. As terrible as that sounds. Just doing a quick scan. Oops. Someone down here needs to be leveled up. Ji Nu has gained a rank. Hmm. I don't know if he's going to be a commander or not. 
uncomplicated. Recruitment cost this army really sucks. But we'll set him up to be a commander. Why not? We are going to need some more armies soon anyway. Um, well, this is kind of problematic. I guess you'll turn around and get this. Oh, we have Sima Ying here too. Hey, that's me. There can't be two Sima Yings. I mean, obviously there can be, but... Conserve energy. This army's getting disbanded. Advancing. Just gonna use it to swat the flies, and then I'm disbanding it. Strike quickly. This is Sima Chung, who we declared war on. One of our former friends. I am going to siege this a little bit. Strike now. Two more turns before they start suffering attrition. I might even just bring this army down. To be honest. Actually, you needed to go this way. That's right. Towards peace. I'll just eliminate Sima Zhao's forces here. And then turn around. And deal with his forces in Luoyi. From the roots Luo to heaven. Easy peasy. To action. To action. Yes, now turn around. Forward. I'm not going to force march because I have a little bit of replenishing to do. A wee bit. A wee bit of replenishment. Smoppy. Please clear our home territory of these nuisances. This faction, Huangzi, has been here forever. Oh, it's Zhang Chong Tingli. That's right, because we killed Huangzi. So me, huh? Stubborn, loyal, vain, philanthropic, and one eyed. Zing Shu Fong. I'm just going to release these guys. Don't really care. They have suffered enough. When we have destroyed them. Finally, this area is united. Except for this little irritating thing. This faction is actually a vassal of my brother Sima Zun. So, its death may be coming soon too. Perhaps. Perhaps. Sima Pu, where are we? I'm actually not sure what I should do here. So this faction is all Sima Chi. Well, Ruan Yi now. And there's some Jin Empire. I guess we'll just be coming south. So we'll try and clear up this if we can. That's the new plan. Channel, I'm not sure why she's here. Not Do I kill her? <laughs> I guess so. She ran into the mountains. So if you're in a position where you can't actually retreat, obviously you can't retreat because there's no physical space. Fight and now the army's just going to die. And you will be so I'm not quite sure what their plan was. Song Yin, don't care. I will show mercy this time. Yeah, not sure what the plan was. I can't reach anything now though. That's fine. That is fine. Final rush. I'm not a fan of that. You are commanding, and that will lead us to zeal, which is amazing. I love zeal. Um, Yusheng, take the copper mine. Order must be obeyed. I like mines. They make lots of money. And I like money. In case the two million gold was not Heaven a giveaway. Rewarded our passion. I actually have no idea what the gold cap is in this game. So that would be interesting to we'll find. Bao Yong, no oh that's you. Okay. Li Huang Fu is down south. What do you mean you can move? No. To restore order. Okay, you can move a micrometer. That's fine. For harmony. That's not even a measurement of space. Just made it up. Okay, Sima Zhang is hanging out in Zhenye, so we'll let him stay there. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. It's been fun to get back into this campaign. We are on our way to victory. I don't even know how many more turns, but once we declare war here against Sima Zun and take these, that's when the real fight's going to begin against Sima Ai and his remaining vassals. But not too much longer, I don't think. So thank you all for watching. I already said that. <laughs> the channel will still be focused on Mistover, so this is kind of taking a backseat, but I'll upload it every so often when I get around to recording it. Bye!